Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create your own customized desert. Now, uh, when you think of a desert, originally you think of like a big plain with sand and maybe some pebbles and stuff like that. And, you know, that's generally what uh, most of the deserts are like around the world. But, there are actually some special types of deserts, like uh, a gravelly desert, and some deserts actually have a lot of foliage in them, more than you would expect. So, we'll be making all those types of deserts in this tutorial. So, anyway, let's get started. Um, we're going to start with the terrain. Actually, most of everything we're going to be doing is in the terrain, uh, except for maybe a little bit of the lighting, but that's pretty much optional, and that'll depend on your map. So we're going to want to set this to a nice medium size, about right there. You can do it a little larger, a little smaller, depends on what you want to do. And we're going to go to raise. And pretty much we're going to start creating ridges along this area that we're going to be using. Now I've got it on a high strength, and this actually might be a little too high. So I'm actually going to do that and going to move the strength down to maybe probably right there a little little less than halfway and so I'm just gonna draw a line roughly across that half and I'm gonna actually do something a little different on the other half which I mean you'll see it's not much different than we're doing now so you're essentially just gonna wanna draw lines across your area and you could do them in some sort of pattern uh, you don't have to but you just essentially wanna make a bunch of ridges and curves and bumps and stuff and the, since the strength is pretty low, they're not going to be super pronounced, but you'll get a nice wavy feeling as long as you uh, do it evenly. So this is pretty good. This is pretty good for one type of desert. On this other half, I'm actually going to be raising the strength a bit. And this is for more of those sandy deserts that are like really windswept and that have a lot of dunes in them. Maybe more of like the classic Sahara Desert while the other lower desert is going to be more of like wasteland sort of thing. So we're just going to make this half, you know, larger ridges and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Draw them along. One suggestion is that you could all do them in certain um, uh, patterns, like all across one direction. So it could seem like the wind like was blowing from that direction or something. You can get pretty detailed with this. Though, if you really don't care, you don't have to. That's the nice thing about this desert, is you can just draw these down, and, you know, it doesn't really matter. So, once you've got these down, you can flatten out some of these areas. Like, this one probably got a little too high. Actually, no, you don't want to flatten them. You want to smooth them. Sorry. And that'll just uh, lower the, the hill a little bit, smoothing it out if you had a big uh, hole or something you accidentally created. But, you know, this is looking pretty good, so. So now I'm going to actually uh, paint on the sand. And since most of them are sand, I'm going to paint on mostly sand. And I'm actually going to raise the size up for this a bit. So we can do this pretty fast. Okay, so we got our sand down. Now, I did mention a gravel deserts. And those actually uh, kind of exist. Um, in the Nevadas, there's, um, I forget what it's called exactly, but I think it, oh, I think it's Death Valley. And it's pretty much, it's kind of like more of a gravelly than like a sandy desert. And, you know, those actually exist, so you could use that as well. But so, we got this sand over here, it looks great. And we're going to actually put this gravelly desert over in the smaller hills area. And the reason I say that is because, um... If you think about it logically, those ridges are only created because of the wind. And this gravel is going to be a lot heavier than sand. So, really, the wind won't be able to affect it as much, which will create smaller hills. So, you can take that into account in your map or not. It doesn't really matter. That is if you're really just thinking uh, technically about it. Okay, guys, so now we're going to focus on the things that are naturally uh, spawned on there, like the materials. So let's focus over here on this gravel for for now. We'll get to the sand in just a bit. That'll be a little more complicated. Well, pretty much in this gravel desert, you're really not going to have much uh, plant life growing on it. 
Like in the desert, you can have some sort of shrubs and maybe a couple trees. But pretty much in this gravel desert, you're pretty much just going to have uh, rocks. So we're going to go to the material gravel, if I can find it. There it is. And we got to make sure that one of these that we're going to be using is uh, selected. So we're just going to use rocky for this. And we're going to make sure that we, when we go over to here, all the pebbles will have the rock selected. And so they all do. Now, if we look closely, they are showing up. We do have pebbles here already. There's just not many of them. It's actually easier to see them if you go under the ground a little bit. So um, maybe we want to increase the level of our uh, pebbles. So what we actually want to do is we want to increase the density of the pebbles. We don't want to increase the chance. Otherwise, we start to get an interesting uh, clumping effect. And it doesn't look very good. So, yeah, this definitely increased them by a lot. We got a lot more pebbles here. And you can pretty much increase it as much as you want. You can pretty much get rid of them if you wanted. It just depends on what you want your desert to be like. So now let's move over to the sand. As you can see, some of the pebbles carried over, and now we got pebbles on our sand. Now, that's fine if you want pebbles on your sand. I mean, I'm sure a lot of deserts have pebbles in them. But maybe we don't want to have as many. Well, if you've got both types of deserts, you'll run into a problem because you can't uh, decrease the density of one of these pebbles. Otherwise, it'll affect this uh, gravel desert as well. So I've got a fix for that. All you have to do is go to sand, pick one of these that's other than rocky because that's the one that gravel is using. So we could use snowy. Okay. Let's just use snowy. Now, even though we're not adding snow, it's really just a grouping. Okay, that's really all we have to worry about. So as long as we're not using any snowy places, we don't have to. We we can just use it. So pretty much all we gotta do is look for any of the ones that have snow. And if we don't want them on there, we just uncheck them. So far, I'm only seeing pebbles, and that's actually what we want. So that's good. So, what we're going to do to make less of them show up is we're just going to uncheck two of these. And we'll just uh, have one out of the three showing up. And as you can see, this definitely works. There's a lot less pebbles now than there were before. So that's one good fix. So this would be a good way to do, you know, a plain desert with just pebbles in them. Now, maybe some of you guys have seen this, but in real life, there are deserts that actually have a good amount of foliage in them. And, you know, a couple trees. We'll actually hand place the trees at the end, but we can actually uh, mass produce the foliage for now. So as you remembered, um, it's got snow as the uh, grouping for these details. So I'm not going to put any grass in because I just think that'll look weird, but I'm actually going to put some flowers. I'm going to put these orange flowers just because they match. I think that'll look nice. So we'll bake and we'll see, you know, are there too many flowers? Yes, there are too many flowers. There are way too many flowers. And I'm just going to reduce both of these by a lot. I want them to be pretty rare. In fact, I'm going to reduce them even more. I'm going to want I want there to be like one flower every blue moon, which is like once a month for those of you who didn't know. And I reduce the chance a little too much. There we go. So, you know, that'll work. You can probably reduce it even more. You just got to move that slider over just a tiny bit. But, you know, that that's pretty good. You know, we got a little little life in our desert. So you can obviously do this with whatever. But So now we're going to move to resources. And these are like some of the larger things, like uh, trees and bushes. Okay, guys. So funny thing I just found out. You know what I said about placing uh, material—I mean resources—in the desert? It doesn't work. So we've got the desert, like we got the sand material as snow, and even if we uh, put this bush russet on the snow and we bake globally, it won't actually add any. And I don't know why they did this. Probably because they weren't thinking about having foliage in the desert, but. Uh, I guess it's just a thing. You can put flowers and pebbles and stuff in the desert, but you can't put any bushes in the desert in terms of baking them. Now, you can place them by hand, though. 
And, you know, this is a pain, but you can do it. So, if you get really into your desert and you really feel like it needs to have some extra foliage, uh, you can still do it. So, you know, bummer there. It's I guess it's not that bad if you just do it from above and you just sort of place them randomly. That's actually not too bad. Especially if you're not going to have a ton. But, you know, it's 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 too bad anyway. So, yeah, there's that. Um, a lot of deserts actually have a couple trees in them as well. Sometimes they're near, like, the edge, but I'm just going to put a couple and see what they look like. And I'll put them near the edge, just, you know, just for now. So, birch tree in the desert. Eh, looks decent. Second birch tree in the desert. You know, this looks a little better. It looks a little more natural, kind of like it's dying, I guess. So, I mean, it's not really nice to have in the desert. Um, I could definitely see maybe a certain type of uh, maple tree. That might look okay. Maple tree? Eh, looks decent. Maybe a pine tree? I don't know. But, yeah, there's definitely these versions of trees that look kind of dried up. So you could pull off a tree in the desert. Obviously, they don't grow there very well naturally, but there are definitely bushes in the desert that grow there. So, besides this, all we have to deal with is lighting. So, let's head over to there. That it would be within the environment and then the lighting tab. Now, hopefully you guys have watched the video I did about lighting specifically. It'll go over a lot more than I'm going to go over now. But, if you haven't, please go check that out, and you'll learn a lot more about customizing your lighting. Otherwise, let's just uh, start messing with this a little bit. So, for a desert, if you're making like your whole map a desert, you're definitely going to want to have want a lighter sky um, during evening, probably, and midday. I've seen some deserts where the, the sky is like super blue, and I've seen some deserts where the sky is like pure white. So I mean you could either go you could go either way with this really. I kinda like what it's going on uh with this morning though. This actually looks pretty good for a desert. I think one thing I'll do is I'm gonna change the top ambient and the bottom ambient and the middle ambient, and I'm gonna change them a little darker. Just because uh in the desert there's like high contrast. And if the sun doesn't touch it, it's, like, really dark. So it's it's one of, like, those extreme places where, you know, it, it just it just looks extreme. So this will help. Oh, yeah, and it makes the shadows look a lot better. Definitely a lot more pronounced. And actually, in the morning, the desert looks really nice. I mean, this looks fantastic. Those uh, ridges really make it look great. So in terms of clouds, you can do pretty much whatever you want. I think generally deserts don't really have many clouds. I think I think they usually uh only have an occasional large storm going by. So, maybe you could have those at night or something when they're not as visible. So that looks pretty good for the morning. Um I will have a little bit of fog. And yeah, that'll that'll look good. And I'll probably leave the fog as some sort of I'll I'll make it like a light color, like a white or something. So we got like that morning fog sort of feel. But what you want to do is you're going to want to make sure that that fog is gone by midday. Because in the desert, the fog gets evaporated pretty fast. And you're probably not going to want many clouds in the middle of the day. You want the intensity as high as you can. Uh, probably not many shadows because the sun will be right overhead. So you don't really have many shadows. And you're going to want probably the bottom ambient, top ambient, and middle ambient all white as they can be. I mean, you could tint it too, but it really just depends on what you want for your desert. You don't have to make it this white. But, you know, if you want to have, like, the desert where you get lost in forever and you eventually dehydrate to death, this would be a good look for you because it's, like, blinding white. I'm also going to actually make the sky a lighter color, too. I'm going to go with that type of sky for this. And, yeah. 
and just see what that looks like. If I was stuck in this desert, man, I would go freaking insane. This is intense. And I'm actually not going to go through the other ones because, you know, you got a good idea of what you can do with this desert thing. And, yeah. So, yeah, go crazy with this, guys. Deserts are definitely a cool part of your map. I would definitely uh, consider putting some objects in your desert, though, when you make them, just to keep them interesting. Because if you got, like, one large desert as your entire map and there's not much in it, it's going to be pretty boring. So, that's just something to keep in mind. Definitely put like car crashes or plane crashes or secret bases or something inside your desert just to keep it interesting well thank you guys for watching this video i hope you learned something uh i kind of did when i made this i messed up a few times and you know found out that uh resources or yeah resources don't automatically spawn on sand you have to actually place them yourself so yeah thank you guys for watching please like it if you enjoyed it and i'll see you